Hi, Pisces. All right, let's get into your reading. Um, starting off with your person's overall energy, all I got to say is, wow. <laughs> I feel like Pisces, somebody, it's like not backing down. They have high hope, high faith that there is a new beginning here. This could be new love. This could be somebody coming back. I don't know yet. It's just their overall energy, but they're feeling very strong that this is something that's going to work out. I feel like they're standing their ground. They're not backing down. They're going to get victory and success here. Um, trying to balance things out or keep things in balance. Underlying energy, I do have patience though. So something could be taking time, seeds are being planted, they need to grow, um, but it seems very positive so far. So hopefully, um, angel numbers that I am seeing for you is seven, seven and one, one, one. So you might be seeing those numbers or they might mean something to you or you can look them up. All right, so we're gonna start off with your person's current situation, current energy, see what's going on. Uh, keep in mind, it is a general reading, Pisces. Energies can be flip-flopped and reversed. When I say your person, I could actually be talking about you. So place it where you see fit. Don't force anything. Also, if you're feeling the vibe and want to be part of the tribe, please hit subscribe. Also, hit that like button to help me get these videos circulated. I appreciate it. All right, let's see what's going on. What's going on, Pisces person? There could have been a painful ending here. It doesn't necessarily mean between the two of you, your person could have experienced some kind of a painful ending. Then we have Ten of Pentacles, the Sun, Page of Swords, the Moon, and Six of Cups. I also have Death card, ending for a new beginning or some kind of transformation. I could take it as maybe there was an ending between the two of you, or they went through that and now they're really ready to have that long-term commitment, stability, loyalty, family dynamic. They do want happiness in their life. They could be watching or observing you. You could be texting with this person or maybe you met on an online dating app. I don't know. Um, there could be something with the past or children or childhood here. Let me keep going. So what's going on? Pisces person. It seems like they're really trying to move things into calmer waters. So whatever that painful ending is, they're, they're trying to move on from it. I'm getting a lot of fire energy. Could be dealing with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sag. They're not walking away from this. They don't want to walk away from this. Eight of Cups in reverse. Nope. <laughs> they want a new beginning in love. And rebuild they feel maybe you you and them are on the same page or want the same things have the same goals again they are in that power they could be an emperor um, Aries energy but they could be entrepreneur business owner CEO they could be very um, like dominant energy here masculine energy you could live at a distance or they could be relocating or moving or they're closing out some kind of a cycle here. All right, let's see. What are the blockages with Pisces and this person? Blockages. Aries energy. <laughs> no. Is that what that ending was? Are they ending something with a fire sign for some of you? The hermit. Is that why there's patience required here? Hmm. Rejecting, ignoring, reconciliation. I could take it as someone from their past is trying to reconcile with them. I don't think they're having it, but it could be an interference here. We do have Queen of Cups, the Lovers, Nine of Cups, Victory and Success, and the Tower. What is this Tower? Third party situation. Why? Third party could be a person, place, or thing. It could be a family member. It could be work. It could be money, finances, drinking, partying, friends. It could be anything. It is stopping this person from taking a leap of faith, though. Hmm. 
why? Justice. They could be caught up in a court thing, a legal battle that's creating confusion and stopping them from moving forward. I feel like there is some kind of a third party outside energy here affecting this. Your person's energy is very positive. I feel like they do have high hopes and faith that there will be a new beginning here for them with you. I feel like they're doing everything in their power to stay on their ground so that way this does have victory and success. But again, something's delaying this or interfering with this. So it's taking some time. So let's see, how does this person feel about you? this person feel about Pisces? Ace of Pentacles, stable new beginning, decision. You make them happy. You're their happiness. You're their sunshine. You're, you are their stable new beginning. All right, we have King of Pentacles and Aquarius energy, King of Swords. So Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. I feel like they see you as very, um, I, I want to say like cutthroat, but very um, firm. Uh, you can remove your emotions when you need to, but you're also very grounded, secure, supportive. How else do they feel about Pisces? How else do they feel about Pisces? They're not, they're not conflicted about you. They're not confused about you. In fact, they want to heal this with you or just re rest and relax with you, cuddle. I'm hearing that song, um, Get Out of My Dreams by Billy Ocean. They could be dreaming about you, thinking about you. Heavily thinking about you. Two of Cups. Yeah, they feel very strongly about you, Pisces. They see you as single, solo, independent, looking good, feeling good. Hard worker, putting in work and effort here. Yeah, I feel like they see you as very like truthful, honest, clarity. You give them clarity. They also see victory and success here with you and wanting to plant seeds. Passion, attraction, desire. There's a fire sign. Either you're dealing with a fire sign or there's a fire sign interfering. I kind of feel like the fire sign is interfering and they're toxic. Ace of Cups. Yeah, we have aces showing up, three of them. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, Ace of Cups. Commitment. They see you as commitment material. They don't feel stuck. They feel strength with you. You give them strength. You have a very positive effect on this person, and I feel like they value that and appreciate it. It gives them strength to handle whatever this battle is that they're going through. It could be, um, if it's not like a person with a situation, they could be battling um, drinking, drugs, partying, financial issues. I do feel like it's a person, though. And it could be a person creating those issues with this person as well. All right. All right, what are their next action steps towards you? I'm hearing that song, I just died in your arms tonight. <laughs> Must have been something you said. All right, let's see. Yep, the fool taking a leap of faith. I feel like this could have been unexpected. They weren't expecting to meet you, bump into you, fall for you. Ace of Swords. Death card. Wanting some kind of change or ending something for a new beginning here. I feel like they're seeing things clearly as to what they want, but... They have unfinished business that they're attending to, attending to. 
Um, they don't want to be blocked off or have walls up. I feel like they want to try and be an open book with you. You bring them happiness through the drama that they're dealing with. I mean, on a negative context, Pisces, this could lead to like codependency with you. They're dealing with possibly a legal battle right now or something with the justice system. And you are, again, that sunshine. The lovers, two of cups. Emperor, you give them the strength. Capricorn energy. Again, strength. But you could represent this Capricorn energy, like a loving, caring, nurturing, stable, grounded, um, and also emperor, like go-getter. Like, I feel like you're helping this person or guiding them through whatever it is they're going through, which Pisces, you are kind of prone to doing that. It's like it kind of gets attracted to you or you attract it. Um, people that need help. And I feel like this person just needs help and you are helping them. I don't feel like they're taking advantage of you. I feel like you are a wish fulfillment. You are their Ten of Cups. You are their sunshine. They feel a strong, powerful soulmate bond. You're helping them move into calmer waters. So what they're trying to do is like they, they intend to take a leap of faith with you they see things clearly you're you're helping them have a positive mindset from a negative situation you're helping them believe in themselves you're giving them strength so whatever it is they're dealing with you are being that that change that transformation that they need again the only downfall that could happen here is codependency where they rely on you for all of that, where they could become an energy vampire and you end up exhausted because you're doing all the work. You're trying to help them. You're always trying to uplift them. You're trying, trying, trying. Um, I don't know. Let's see. What are, what are you going to do? What is Pisces going to do about this situation, this person? Not the, the cure song just like heaven you're literally like an earth angel to this person I feel like all right be careful you might feel like they're manipulating you or using you for money finances or stability there's that codependency thing it might create some confusion with how you feel like you might feel like you're the sugar daddy sugar mama whatever that king of pentacles like if you're helping them financially, that might be something that's maybe bothering you. But let's see, what are you going to do? What is Pisces going to do? Uh, I do see you shutting down a little bit. Putting some walls up or standing your ground. <laughs> this is taking an unexpected turn. You may, Pisces, feel taken advantage of, potentially, like, financially or for stability. Maybe you're giving them a house, home, place to stay, driving them places or making phone calls, whatever it is. You might feel like they might be taken advantage or, like, why am I doing all this? Like, do it yourself. There is a little bit of codependency going on here. I feel like maybe you do walk away... And shut down, go hermit for a little bit and have some regrets. Your walls go up. But then I have strength, confidence, courage, the star, planting seeds, and page of cups. So what is that towards? Ace of cups, moving things into calmer waters. So what, why the shift? There's like a big shift. Change in perspective. Ace of wands. Something with the past or childhood or children. Something shifts your energy from negative to positive. 
putting in work. They may start putting in work and effort and showing you like they're not depending on you for everything. Yeah, I feel like you have a heart to heart conversation with this person. You do take a leap of faith. I see it leading to commitment. Or this person makes a commitment to you about putting in work and effort and not relying on you for everything. Yep, there's that leap of faith. Some of you are going to say, nope, I'm just walking away and that is fine. Some of you might close out this circle, this circle, this cycle. Maybe it is too much. There could be family involved. You could already be married to this person, but I don't, I don't know if that's the case. I feel like it leads to a higher level of commitment. If this person does put in work and effort and not lean on you for everything, I mean, the way I feel this person views you is they're wishing for you. They're grateful for you. You're giving them the strength. You're giving them the power. You're giving them that balance or that uh, confidence to handle whatever it is that they need to handle, whether it's a third party situation interfering, meaning like if they're getting out of a bad relationship, um, if it's drugs, alcohol, finances, something with the legal system, whatever it is, whatever this rock bottom or tower moment is, you are helping them get out of this. You're giving them the strength and confidence. I mean, you have a very positive impact, but I also know being on the other side of that, where your shoes are, is very difficult and it's draining, very draining. So I feel like that's why you kind of take a break here and distance yourself a little bit because it, it might get overwhelming or might become too much. But I then see a change and a transformation with this person and with, with you. So I see it going long term. Divine intervention. <laughs> that is like a tower or rock bottom or everything kind of falls apart. Serendipity, catalyst, supernatural karma, partying. Is that what this is? Are you dealing with somebody that likes to party? Or that's going through a separation, a divorce, a legal battle, something like that. Soulmate, yeah. Soulmate, twin flame, soul contract, soul connection, past lives. You are meant to cross paths with this person single, alone, isolated, lonely, guarded. You may isolate a little bit. You're at a crossroads or you come to a crossroads. Multiple options, choices, turning point or indecisive. Is this person playing me? Are they using me? Are they codependent? Am I doing too much for them? I feel like you start questioning all those things between the lines. You start reading between the lines or start looking at the big picture here. Hidden meaning, vague, speculate, implicit. Relationship, commitment, partner, boyfriend, girlfriend. See, but that's where it leads to. I feel like most of you are going to give this relationship a chance. Some of you aren't. Divine timing, wrong timing, stalemate, perfect timing, waiting. Yeah, something with timing, patience, intuition, gut feeling, psychic, premonition, sixth sense, liquid courage. All right, let's see. What other messages do we have for Pisces? Whoa. Have faith. The angels are working behind the scenes to make this relationship flourish. Overthinking. Playing negative scenarios in your head is creating issues which weren't there at first. That could be your person. I'm not taking all these because it was a huge clump. So let's see what else comes out. Okay, law of attraction. You have been manifesting this relationship. Everything you want will soon be yours. And it comes back together and in a more positive aspect. Uh, let go of the need to control. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. I feel like that's why you do kind of step back from this to just let it fall where it may. Uh, put yourself first. Loving yourself makes you more romantically attractive. And that could also be why you distance yourself because... 
energy vampires. They're they're depending on you for a lot, and it's exhausting. All right, letters could be first, middle, last name, initials. Could spell a word. Could spell a name. Something of significance. Place it where you see fit. All right, we got T D O R W E X Z N Y P B I. So T D O W R X E Y Z N P B I. Sorry about my dog. All right, numbers could be angel numbers, could be an anniversary, a birthday, could be number of days, weeks, months, years, could be an angel number, place it where you see fit. All right, we have three, four, five, and 10. So it could be like 34, 43, 53, 35, um, three, four, five, and 10. So March, April, May, and October. Zodiac signs could be their sun sign, strong placements in their chart. Something could happen during that season, like Pisces season. We got Scorpio, Scorpio, Capricorn, and Aquarius. Virgo and Cancer flipped out too. So could be a lot of different signs. Scorpio, Scorpio, uh, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, and Aquarius, right? Aquarius was the other one. All right, Pisces, that is what I have for you. Love and light. Take care.